whether you're closing down a business, changing your business model, or have other reasons for discontinuing your online presence, you may be considering deleting your Google business profile. However, before taking such a permanent step, it's essential to not only understand how to delete your profile, but also the implications of doing so, alternate options, and what you can do just in case you change your mind. I'm Tori Mathis, marketing agency CEO, digital marketing coach at the Smart Arsenal, and previous Google business profile deleter and regretter. And in this video, I'll go over reasons to delete your Google business profile, considerations to deleting your profile, alternatives to deleting your business profile, what to do if you delete your profile and then change your mind, I'll also give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to delete your profile. I'll also show you how to mark it as permanently or temporarily closed. And I'll tell you what to do just in case you have issues and you need more help. So what are some reasons that you may want to delete your Google business profile? First is a business closure. If your business is closing permanently, removing your business profile might be necessary to prevent confusion and misdirect customers. You may also be restructuring. During a major business restructuring, you may need to delete an old profile if it no longer reflects your business accurately and updates aren't enough. You may also have a duplicate listing. Sometimes duplicate profiles are created by mistake and deleting one might be necessary to consolidate your online presence and avoid customer confusion. But before you delete your profile, I want you to consider these reasons why it may be a bad idea to delete your profile. First, let's talk about your online presence. Deleting your profile removes your business completely from Google Maps and search, which can significantly decrease your online visibility. You're also gonna lose very important SEO benefits. Your Google profile contributes positively to your SEO, helping your business appear in local searches. And these benefits are free to you. You also may lose customer trust and engagement. A well-maintained profile with reviews and updated information builds trust and helps in engaging with customers and that means more sales for your business. You'll also lose important customer interaction. You'll lose a platform where customers can leave reviews, which can be vital for feedback and business improvement. You'll also lose your competitive edge. Having an active Google business profile gives you a competitive edge over competitors who don't utilize this free but powerful resource effectively. And Google is still number one for searches online. 91% of all searches by your customers start on the Google. Before deciding to delete your profile, I wanna give you some alternatives to deletion. You have some options to deletion that you may be able to do first before hitting the good old delete button. And those are, you can mark your business as permanently closed. This is particularly useful if you want to keep all the history and reviews visible. You can also mark your business as temporarily closed. This also saves your history and your reviews and allows you some time to decide if your decision is in fact permanent. You can also update your profile. If your business is going through changes such as a rebrand or even a relocation, simply updating your profile information rather than deleting your profile. And let me tell you, I moved and I deleted my profile and it was a big mistake. So carefully consider these other options before making your final decision. So what happens if you delete your profile and then you have a change of heart? Well, reinstating a deleted Google business profile is not very straightforward. If you accidentally delete your profile or regret your decision, you'll need to create a new one from scratch. And this means that you would lose all your accumulated reviews, your photos, and your history associated with the old profile. But when you're ready, here is how to delete your Google business profile. The first step is to sign in to your profile. You want to log into the Google business profile with your Google account that is associated with the profile you want to delete. Go to business.google.com and choose the business that you wish to delete. To access the menu, click the three little dots menu and find remove business profile. Click this option. Choose remove profile content in managers. 
You'll see a few options, including the option to download your business content or to mark the business as permanently closed. You want to confirm your deletion. You'll be prompted to confirm your choice. Remember that deleting your business profile is a permanent action. Now you also have the option to mark your business permanently or temporarily closed. To mark your business as permanently closed on Google Search and Google Maps, go to your business profile at business.google.com. Select Edit Profile. Then near the top, select the Hours tab. Next to Hours, select the Edit Pencil icon. Select Permanently Closed. You can also mark your business here as Temporarily Closed. Then select Save. Your business profile may still appear on search and map for users who search for it, but it will clearly show that your business is closed. Deleting your business profile is a significant decision with lasting impacts on your business's online presence. So before proceeding, consider why you want to delete your profile, the benefits of keeping it active, and the potential consequences of removal. Often, updating the profile or simply marking it as closed might serve your needs better without losing valuable history and presence that you have built on Google. As always, if you have issues, you have a few options. First, you can drop a comment right here and I will do my best to help you out. Next, you can hop on over to the Google Help community where other Google pros can offer up some advice. Or if you prefer, you can contact Google support or set up an appointment with a Google advisor. I will put all of those links in the description for you. If you decide that deletion is not the answer, how about we inject your Google business profile with some new life with some reviews on Google and all across the web. I have a free review boosting bootcamp happening right now. You can join for free and get the step-by-step -step easy peasy instructions on how to get your business set up for reviews, how to get more reviews, and even how to deal with those pesky negative reviews. You'll also get a ton of done for you templates and scripts, tools to automate your review process, and I'm giving you a professionally designed review landing page that will get you more reviews today. You can join for free at torymathis.com, get more reviews. I will leave the link below and I can't wait to see you there.